Hey you two, welcome back to UniXTCG. Today, we're going over another Fusion World beta gameplay video. Uh, this time, we're going to be piloting Frieza, and uh, that is from the Yellow Starter Deck Frieza. And uh, yeah, we're just putting up more gameplay so you guys can kind of see what it's about until the actual client drops. So uh, I'm going to set this light goal for 100, like usual, and we're going to jump pretty much into it. Only thing that i got to say past that is that this is a great time to join the UniX fam. We're taking off with more One Piece content, Dragon Ball Super Fusion World. And uh, if you like Dragon Ball as a whole, you can actually go over to my other channel, UniXDB, where we are playing pretty much any Dragon Ball game, I feel like, talking about Dragon Ball in general. Right now, we're focusing on the Doken Anniversary in JP. Great units, great videos going up. So uh, let's actually hop into that gameplay. All right, so we've got Yellow Starter Deck Frieza versus, I do believe, the Goku from the set, yes. So um, this Goku gives 5k to every Universe 7 battle card once he is uh, awakened on his own turn. Uh, my hand's pretty good. I've got a pretty decent curve, got some self-awakeners, got a uh, draw and KO. Um, I've got the Mecha Frieza that plays the King Cold, as well as my 5-drop. Honestly, for Frieza, this is a lot of just what I need to be able to get that board where you're protecting yourself constantly, swinging with your 20Ks that go neutral. Um, he's immediately just going to swing on me after uh, on his second turn, and I just get a Chi-Li super combo from life, and then I draw one from hand. That's good and bad because uh, a lot of my turn right now, my hand's gummed up. I have a Mecha Frieza that can't play anything. Um, I've got a Golden Frieza that's not in kill range right now, but I did draw another Self-Awakener. And he has a uh, he has blocker, so this is good. So we're just gonna play him, um, and then take the life, and it's a death beam. Well, golden death beam. So we are gonna be able to destroy something when he turns it sideways. This is a pretty decent start. Um, realistically, by playing the second one, like if he hits me this turn, and I go down to four, or down to five, I can play the second one. And then I have these two 20k blockers that can go sideways against him. So he attacks me in life again, and I get another Golden Death Beam, or whatever this card is. Then he plays Botamo and swings. This is going to be a perfect Mize, um, because I don't even need to take any more life. He's just going to fully, like, send and awaken me. And of course, Botamo cannot be destroyed by battle. And we don't even need to, because we can just destroy it with this, uh, with this Golden Death Beam. So the first thing we're going to do is awaken... This game is going to go pretty fast. Awakening into uh, Final Form Frieza. Playing the Death Beam to kill the Botamo that cannot be killed by uh, battle. And then we're just going to play this uh, 20k Frieza that's going to just, you know, put stuff down and to uh, put something 3 cost or less into rest position. But this is pretty much why, um, why this deck does what it does. You're going to be able to swing with both of these and then untap. Don't need to bring anything from life to hand. I'm just going in. Then I'm going to draw for my leader swing. And uh, we are already getting set up. The Apollo in hand. We got two 10Ks, so we actually have two super combos. Um, one, two, three, four, five 10Ks in hand. Plus Mecha Frieza, plus our Golden Frieza. So we're sitting pretty heavy. He's going to be able to awaken now. Really, really, really clean animation. Love it for that. And uh, now he's going to attack, and I don't really need to do anything. We can drop a card from hand. It kind of feels bad regardless, but we're going to have to go up by 10. Uh, I think the Epul is the blocker that I want to play, because even though he's a 5k in hand, he is going to be able to go up um, and draw me a card when he gets killed. So, realistically, we're just going to let this bang. He's swinging over for 25, and so we're just going to drop a 10k to rise above it. He's got 12 cards to my 7 cards, but the momentum I'm about to be able to press on his board is very much so worth it. Now granted, I did charge the uh, Death Beam, which is unfortunate, the Golden Death Beam, but we still have the, uh, we just drew a Emperor's um, <clears throat> Death Ball, so we're gonna get a lot of value in. We're gonna be able to chip him. 20 into 20, he's gonna have to drop a card in hand, and that's fine. Um, Frieza's able to play the long game with all the untapping you can do. So now we're swinging with this blocker as well. He's thinking about it, but there's no reason with 11 cards in hand why you want to go up. So he goes up another 5k. Easy peasy. So with my leader again, what we're really fishing is for a King Cold, and we're not finding it. But on 4 energy, the ability to pay, uh, play Kui as a blocker that can draw me one when it's KO'd, and then still have one up for Death Ball, that's very, very nice. So we were able to kind of equalize. We got him down to 9 cards in hand this go. We're playing the Kui, and then we're just going to untap both our blocker and our 2-cost uh, Frieza. 
having a little trouble clicking these uh, buttons, and then we just pass. So right now we got two blockers up, one of them which will uh, give us a draw on KO, and he has to kind of bring the pain to us. He's swinging with his leader naked, and uh, I'm fine just blocking that with the uh, Kui to draw card. So there goes my blocker, and we draw another Frieza. Now he's playing, okay, so that's, that's rough. Now he's decided to play his Goku, which is now a 40k double strike, and he killed my other blocker. But this is fine. I'm going to use uh, Emperor's Death Ball to go up by 15. And after going up by 15, I'm going to tap his Android 17. Because it's a three cost. And that's how you two for one somebody. Uh, all these effects. Uh, now I need to go up 10k more to not get smited. So we're going to drop the Apollo right here. We draw into a one drop Frieza. Uh, we almost charged our five drop Frieza. That was almost scary. Sometimes like, uh, yeah, if you're not paying attention, you can charge something you don't want to charge. But now that he's swung with his five drop Goku, we're going to be able to swing on his uh, 17 and we're gonna go up to 30 to his 25. He opts to go up to 35 to block me and that's fine. Now I'm going to attack his leader for neutral, now that he's at eight cards to my six. The whole point here is to let him have his hand get softened just a wee bit. So he's gonna drop 5k to rise above, now he's at seven cards in hand, and now we get to test him. We're going to play our Golden Frieza, and we're gonna have Golden Frieza attack him for double and then lock down his uh, five drop double strike Goku. So now he needs to come out 40, are up to 40 and he does have the Shen in hand but now it's his six cards to my five cards and his best asset on his board is locked down so now that uh, I end my turn I can put golden Frieza and this uh, three drop or two drop Frieza back to active mode so we can't swing on them I've got two super combos in hand so likely whatever he plays I'll be able to like bounce in terms of a uh, defense and he is currently swinging for a 20k. I'm gonna protect my life right here because uh, he's still got a sizable hand. I don't wanna get down to two and then get shotgun. So now he's swinging with uh, Android. Yeah, he's swinging with his Android and, oh, see, that's really rough. Okay, so he just actually played his, uh, oh, swung with his Android and I took it, getting me the King Cold I wanted, but now he's also swinging with his Goku uh, for double strike and I'm at, Three life, so I'm actually just going to. Yeah, I'm going to use my super combo and a 5k to go up to uh, 45. This is a very, very, very scary place to be in. Um, I think we just skip charge here because we're at five, and then we just tap all five to play Mecha Frieza, and Mecha Frieza will get out King Cole. So we're playing nine cost, nine cost worth of bodies for a uh, five. And we're just going to use Frieza to start pressing him. So he's thinking about it. With only six cards in hand, he does have to kind of watch out a little bit. So we just took the damage, and that's kind of letting me know about his hand. Now I'm swinging neutral 20 to 20, and he is going up to 25 to stop it. Going back down to six cards in hand, so kind of net advantage. Now I'm going to swing over with 25 to his 20 and he lets that go through and at this point I kind of feel like his hands weak but I don't think it's weak enough for me to shotgun and then potentially lose I think he's drawing me in so we're gonna stop one of his Goku's from swinging and then we're just gonna let the 35k bang so he has another super combo so it's good that I didn't go all in because I likely would have just bought him out of my hand right then and there so we're gonna end the turn and we are going to put up the golden Frieza and the blocker King Cole we still got three life and at this very moment, we are in kind of a precarious position. He has to sequence his swings correctly because he cannot swing with uh, 17 first, unless I actually just remove it from the field by blocking with King Gold. Everything is out of the range for him to actually uh, get some of this out, but he's swinging with a crit, and I decide not to activate blocker. Where do I? Yeah, I decide not to activate blocker. Um, He's swinging naked with crit, so I'm just gonna drop 10k. And now he should know that I only have 10k's in hand. Now he's dropping another crit Vegeta. And this is where we start getting a little weird. But he's got four cards in hand now. 
So I choose not to block again, now that he's used almost all of his uh, his energy. He's used four energy out of his six. And I'm kind of wondering why he chose, why he opted to charge. But now we're going to uh, go up to 30k again to block his critical. And now he's swinging for double. And this is going to be where we just launch the ripcord. Uh, we, have to, uh, we have to block with King Cold. There's just no other way. So throwing King Cold in front of it. Which is going to allow me to destroy one of his uh, crit Jitas. And now the only thing he has to swing with is his leader and a 17. So he's probably going to try to take out my Mecha Frieza. But um, I don't know what he's got in hand and he might be trying to save it for defense. So whether he's going to swing with 17 and just have me block it. If I do block with 17, or if I do block the Mecha Frieza from getting hit, he does have free reign to get rid of my Mecha Frieza and I'm kind of counting on that. So I bounce that and he plays a Roshi to draw a card. And he plays another Roshi to draw a card. So now he's tapped out and I know he can't command Mayami. Me. And this is a big problem. So now he's swinging on my Mecha Frieza and he boosts himself up to 25 by comboing one of the Roshis. So he's at five cards in hand to my zero cards in hand. Um, doesn't really seem that great for me, kind of dire, but I drew into a Supernova. And um, that's rough. That is rough. So what I'm going to do now is attack just as crit Jita, and it draws me into a uh, it draws me into a uh, sorbet, and you're gonna kind of see like a little bit of a luck sack. Like this string is wild. Supernova is already a wild card, boosting you up 20k, and then being able to tap something, which will be that Roshi. So his opponent is thinking about whether he should come out of hand to stop the Vegeta from like dying, and I think honestly he should just let it go. He's gonna have one 25k or 35k to swing, and he does let it go. He was smart. Now I'm going to play Sorbet and see what I draw. Sorbet draws me into another Supernova. Um, it was just this man's time to die, honestly. So now I'm swinging with Golden Frieza, and I'm going to tap one of his Gokus. It doesn't matter because this should be the last turn of this game with only five cards in hand. I'm going to super. I'm going to combo with the Sorbet, bring it up to 40k. I'm going to combo again with a Supernova, bring it up to 60k, and tapping the Roshi so that he cannot... Um, Oh, sorry. I guess I have to choose something that can't untap. So I'm making it so he can't untap with um, with 17. Now I'm playing the other Supernova. And now Frieza's coming at him for 80,000. So 80,000 versus the five cards in his hand. He's already dropped two super combos earlier in the game. And uh, he goes out like a true warrior, dumping his entire hand to show me that he could only get up to 70,000 versus my 80,000. And that is the game. So let's uh, go into the closing. So yeah, that was just a quick Frieza match on the uh, beta. Um, like I said, stay tuned for a lot more Fusion World content. We've already gone over most of the cards in the set, but we are only about mm, a little over a week away from the pre-releases. And then uh, we're only a little over, I think, two weeks away from the actual set releases. I will be opening up an entire case. It's going to be a live stream, so make sure you uh, just kind of mark that on your schedules. And, uh, yeah, for you guys that also watch One Piece, I will be streaming my run in the Treasure Cup this weekend. So, I don't know, guess what deck I'm playing, uh, say something, speculate. But, uh, yeah, just catch me here at the Patreon for more TCG content, and I will see you guys in the next video. Let's uh, take it over to the Patreon appreciation. Alright, it's that time again. Time to give a special shout out to all the Patreon members that give this channel the extra boost. I appreciate you guys, and uh, on this Patreon you're going to find articles that are a little too long to go into video format. We're going to be diving into Dragon Ball Super Card Game Fusion World as well as OP06. Uh, that's Wings of the Pirate King, so get ready for that. After events, we're going to be posting like in-depth deep dives for those two the tournament runs especially if it turns out a little nice and we're also doing an uta giveaway so um we're gonna be planning something for fusion world as well so hold up for that but there's a lot coming up in universe x and then last but not least a special shout out to the realm of xers the guys that go the extra mile the virars the bryce r's and the big daddy flapjacks just want to thank you guys for being part of the highest tier and i'll see you guys in the next video and or article later